Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And guess what, guys? Bryce Hall just got a brand new house and that means I could review it coming from the perspective of a real estate agent and real estate investor. And I will let you know what I honestly think of Bryce Hall's new house that he just posted. But with that said, guys, before we go into it, we gotta make sure to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It, it takes you just a split second. All you gotta do is just just destroy it like that. It helps out the YouTube algorithm tremendously. With that said, let's see what his house is all about. What the fuck? Fuck! 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 All right, we're at the house. What the fuck was that, Bryce? The button, the button, the hit the like button. Get your free talk down below in the description. It's worth all the way through a thousand dollars. That's it's it's bad when I do it. I don't know when he does it, it works. When I do it, I just look silly. I moved into my first house by myself, and I'm going to show you guys. I posted, like, a few... Oh, well, that's a fun time. Listen, moving into your first house by yourself, there's nothing better than that than waking up, and you're all alone. Honestly, the best part about that is that when you set something down, like, let's say I put this here, it stays there. Nobody moves it. You can come right back to it. Everything is exactly where you put it, and uh, you're all alone. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my crib. How'd you get there? Oh, he missed the montage of him like closing the door multiple times, like welcome to my crib, and like the door opens, closes, open, closes, with the music in the back. There's no B-roll on this, so already right off the bat, this is nothing like MTV Cribs. How'd you get there? Doesn't matter, welcome to my crib. Oh, okay. This is main floor, this is where I do all my studio sh We got the studio right here. This, this counts as a bedroom number one. Point it over there, dude. It's gonna be cooler when I, I just moved in, give me a break. This is horrible. Like the B-roll, listen, I gotta say, for Bryce Hall, 3.6 million subscribers, and he's not even filming with a wide-angle lens for this. Uh, I want to say it's an iPhone. It's definitely not an iPhone, but there's no wide-angle on it. So you literally, just the only shot of the house that you get to see in that bedroom so far is just one wall. You have no idea how big the room is with this, and... and well, you know what? Let's see. Let's give him a chance. There's gonna be a total studio session slash J-Rod's editing software all right there. That's where we make the vid videos. Right, so you don't even know how to use a computer. I know. I love how he talks about half of the room. Well, you look at him. He's explaining what's like off of this screen when you could just be like, just, just move the camera and point to what he's talking about. But we're just looking at him instead. Look, this is a $5,000 couch. Where I can pass out drunk. So this is gonna be Landon's room every time we drink, so every day. Wow, that's a great shot of the $5,000 couch that we can't see, because we're looking at you instead. It's got its own bathroom, shower. Finally, we got a little bit of B-roll, but it's of the bathroom. Of all places, you decide, you know what, we need the B-roll of the bathroom. I have an apple fridge, and you know what I can do on this, J-Rod? What? I can watch PAU Club videos on my literal fridge. That's not an Apple fridge. What are you talking about? That it's, it literally says Samsung. That's the antithesis of Apple. The Samsung, you have a Samsung TV. It's just, they copied features from Apple. That's what they did. It's not an Apple fridge. Apple should make refrigerators though. Imagine tracking your refrigerator. It's like you turn on location services just to see where your refrigerator is at all times to make sure it's like, it's still in the house. It hasn't left yet. That would, that would actually be pretty cool. And then you look over here, and this is- Cool spot. Listen, I gotta say, as like a first place for like a guy who's single, this is like, this is basically what you would imagine the place to look like. It, it's just, it appeared here on screen. The actual full living room with a dining room table slash pool table, TV, LED lights around the concrete, giant basketball hoop. The joke is it's it's mini. So we're on floor number three. I'm actually going to pimp this room the f out. A full bar right there, two flat screen TVs right here projecting, whatever the f you want to watch. This is probably going to be the beer pong table. And then I'm going to have two couches right there for any weirdos that want to watch it. It's Basically a frat house. This is what it sounds like already. Now, nothing wrong. How old is Bryce Hall? Bryce Hall, 22. Yeah. All right. So it's basically a frat house. That that's what this is going to turn into. But you know what? I bet for anyone who's 22 with his type of uh, resources and money, they do the exact same thing. This is bedroom number dos. This is probably going to be the room where most of my friends get drunk and then crash in. It's got a flat screen TV. Everything already signed in from the previous owner, and I'm not going to tell them about it. A bathroom with a personal bidet, so you can you know what bidets do. And a shower. I think you should test out the bidet. Again, we need more B-roll shots. It's obvious he he hasn't really 
really filmed a lot of house tours. Now, I don't blame him. He's busy doing a lot of things. But you know what? If, if you're going to post a my new house tour, this could have been a 2 million view video, but it's only at 500,000 because there's no B-roll. We got to see the room. I don't know why, but the camera's just always pointed on him. He's talking about like, oh, we got this amazing wall over here and this and that, and this pool table. But the camera just somehow is just like fixed on his face. And we don't see the house. Should I? On video. All right. Oh yeah, that works. That's in my butt. Oh my God, kind of feels good. <laughs> now, welcome to my room. Ooh, look at this. First edition Lapras. Centered well, but it's a non-hollow. That's bad. This is where I'm going to be slaying so much Okay. <laughs> that's a joke. Oh no, that's not a joke. The TV hanging from the ceiling, all my clothes and shoes in there, the signed Zion Williamson basketball right there, the two lounge chairs. Finally, we're getting some B-roll, but it's like, again, it's just not a wide angle. This is horrible. This reminds me of some of the realtors online who like, take the worst photographs of the house. They just go in there with their iPhone, like click, 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 click. It looks like crap. Like this would be an MLS photo of like the least desirable house that the realtor has no idea what they're doing. This is it. Giant shower. He's doing a terrible job showing the shower. He should get out of the way and then we could get real B-roll shots, like some authentic shots of the shower, but he's in it. Might as well stop coming to the gym. This is the guy workout with all these days. And this is probably my favorite part of the house. This is like the lounge area. We got a little couch action going on. We got the great spot up there. Now I gotta say, his location is like right in the middle of like one of the best parts for like LA nightlife. He is, uh, I, I wanna say like 20 minutes from Santa Monica, 15 minutes from downtown, five minutes to Hollywood, five minutes to the Beverly Center. Like in terms of being like right in the middle of everything, this place is pretty much it. TV outside, so if it rains, we're f But if you watch the vlogs more, you'll see what I turned this house into. I'm here for a year, all by myself, and I'm gonna get very bored. What else we got? That's it. <laughs> five <laughs> floors. I'm gonna be jacked as by the time I leave here. All right, now that I showed you guys the house. Just yeah, five floors. That, that's the issue with a lot of these places. And this is the issue why not a lot of people, well, you don't really get any families who want to live there. So like families are off the bat. Older people, listen, we're over the stairs. I'll, I'll put myself in that category. I'm an older person now, 31 years old. I'm over the stairs. I'm not going to walk up and down four flights of stairs. I got a one story right now. That, that's on my level. Basically, this place was designed for him. And he's going to move in a year or two, and then someone else 22 years old is going to move in. What do they say? Uh, this place gets older, but the people who move in stay the same age. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. Start the vlog. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. That, wait, that was it. That was it. Three minutes and 45 seconds. That was the whole house tour with like no B-roll, nothing. How many square feet is it? How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? How much was it to rent? My guess is probably renting this about 6,500 a month. Max eight, six to 8,000 a month is how much he's paying for that. That's how much it's worth. But you know what? I'm not gonna stop here. Let's finish the rest of the vlog. Maybe he shows some more of the house. I don't know. Ooh, it's iFly. I wanna do this. I wanna do this really badly. I've seen these things. When you go out, like you go to the Discovery Center and there's someone like going up like 30, 40 feet. I've always wanted to do that, but it's been too expensive. I'm like, who, who would ever pay $60 for five minutes? It's a bad deal. Now I can afford to do that because we got, we got sponsors and sponsors can help us pay for this stuff because uh, it is too expensive, but let's see. That looks really cool. I, I do want to do that though. We'll do that. We'll do that on the uh, St. Family Vlog channel. Link down below in the description. I'm probably going to change the name to something else, but as of right now, it's the St. Family, like Graham Stefan Ellie. Graham St. Family. So we're at Landon and Esteban's apartment. They told me that they wanted to do something with their wall. Look at their walls that they already have. This one's pretty dope. Wall full of hearts. This one with the Hollywood sign and the grass decor. Yeah, that looks like a really cheap knockoff of uh, James Gold Crown. He's the one in LA who does the uh, the art of the uh, the hearts. It looks like they just kind of copied his whole style. Uh, is that a style? Is, is hearts a style? I think it is. When he does it, it, it's money. When someone else does it, then you're, you're, you're just painting hearts on a wall. 
And then this one right here has nothing. All right, I got the paint, ready to do this. So the overall goal is I don't want to hit Matt, and I'm gonna try to like trace him with the paintballs, but I'm not that accurate. Well, your security deposit's gone. Oh, security deposit's way gone. I broke doors, stabbed the walls, went Freddy Krueger in there, it just- Oh man, this is every landlord's worst nightmare. It's <laughs> this guy right here. Every landlord, just as a warning, you see him on the application, Deny, deny, deny. Or you gotta get like a 10 month security deposit. Basically he's gotta pay the entire thing up front in cash. Basically, you know what, actually, I changed my mind. You just gotta buy the place at that point. Cause it's gonna be trash. All right, I'm gonna try to get as close to you as possible without hitting you, that's the goal. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See, the problem wouldn't so much be the, uh, the paint. It's, are you ruining the drywall? There's no way that you could shoot paintballs at this and the drywall is not gonna have indentations all the way around. So basically what they gotta do, uh, they're gonna take out this entire wall, re-drywall it, re-plaster over it, repaint it. That's gotta be a few grand basically for them to essentially do this. It's pretty good actually. I don't know if I'd be able to be that accurate. It's not bad. We're not getting our security deposit back anyway. So. Hey. <laughs> I think we should thank Bryce for the art. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, but they're still gonna pay it. I mean, let's just say, okay, I'm not gonna get my security deposit back. It's not like then you could do more than $3,000 of damage and it's like free damage. No, 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 no. They know who you are. Landlord 101 coming from a, uh, coming from a landlord, okay? Here's what's gonna happen. The landlord's going to, uh, let's say, find $6,000 of damage, maybe $7,000. They're gonna take the security deposit, so you're out three. Then they're gonna give you a bill. Here's 4,000 bucks, you owe us this for all of this damage that is on camera. So it's, you can't say that like, oh, that was there when I moved in. <laughs> no, no, they see everything you're doing on camera, so they, they're aware of this, okay? So now they're gonna give you a bill. And if you say, well, uh, I'm not gonna pay it and you're gonna just run off to Arizona, they're, they're gonna put a judgment against you, basically. They're gonna go after it, especially a company like this. They have lawyers on retainer where they're gonna collect their money. So they're gonna take the deposit, fine, but you're still gonna have to be responsible. You're still gonna have to pay for everything else beyond that deposit, so. But you know what, it's content. You make the money back times 10 making a video like this. Great, thank you, Bryce. Now let's go to Arizona. Next vlog's gonna be lit. All right, so overall I would say this is probably one of the worst house tours I've ever seen. Not because I, I don't like his place. I actually think it was a nice spot. It's just the filming is so bad. You don't go and film a gorgeous room looking at Bryce Hall the entire time. It, that, it just doesn't work. I, I can't get a good idea what a $5,000 couch looks like when I'm looking at Bryce Hall. So that's my biggest criticism. And uh, security deposits... Uh, Definitely take a bigger security deposit if, if you're gonna be renting to anybody here. I would recommend the, the maximum <laughs> or, uh, or rent to somebody else. But you know what, as long as they pay for the damage, all good with me. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as my... As on the podcast, the Ice Coffee Hour, new episodes being posted every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.